joined us today. It is. It is. It's great that you've joined me well, here. Yeah, it is. It's all good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, great. Well, we have a fun pack session. We do. What have we got coming up today? We are, obviously, going to play some games. Obviously. It's going to be fun. We're going to have another Emily versus Tabs challenge. Oh. So we'll see, we'll see how that one goes. Yeah. And a game for you to join in with as well. And we'll have our story, obviously, and our thought. And the whole thing, we're going to have some fun. Okay, I've got a game for you. Oh, Fabulous. Okay. And for you. Bring it on. Okay, the name of a colour is going to appear on the screen. Okay. Right. But the word will be in a different colour. Okay. To the name of the colour that's written. So, for example, it could say blue, but be green. Okay. And you've okay. got to say the colour that the word is written in rather than the word itself. So we'd say green. So you'd say green. Okay, got So it. we're going to have a practice. Right. So that Good. you can see what I it. mean and you can see what I mean. Yeah. So <laughs> I would like you to name the colour yeah. of this word. Go. Orange. Yes. Yeah, orange. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Nice one. Okay, number two. Go. Yellow. Green. It's it's green. Oh. It's yellow that's written, but it's in. Okay. Green. You're right. Yes. Two nil. Okay, number three. Go. Blue. Pink. It is it's pink. <laughs> it's written as blue. <laughs> it's actually pink. <laughs> Okay, you ready? You might be able to redeem yourself because it's 3-0. Okay, so this is okay. number four. Go! Blue! blue. Yeah! Look at it right! Yes! Oh, it's blue. Okay. I'm going to give you a point for that. So okay. it's 3-1. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was marginally quicker. Okay, yeah. Okay, number five. Go! Brown. Orange. Ah. So you said it was orange, but it's actually, the word is orange. You oh. said it was brown. It's actually red. But you might have seen brown because you're colourblind. I am colourblind. Which so, means this game really isn't fair. It's, it's not overly <laughs> fair for you. Mm. Um, so I'm going to give it to you because oh. you were the nearest. And it, to you it will have been brown, to be fair. Yeah, um, exactly. To be fair. But to a lot of people... To be fair. You don't think it's fair, do you? It could no. have been red. It is fair. Right, last one. Okay, right. last one. Yeah. Number six. Go! Yellow! Yellow. Yay! You were just there first. Oh. Just there first. Oh. So, is it 3-3? Three, three? It's 3-3! Three, three. We drew! You drew! Oh. Wow! Well done. So well if done. anybody got more than three right as quickly as they did, give yourselves a round of applause! Well hey Emily, Emily, you nearly, you nearly beat someone who's colourblind at a colour game. <laughs> yeah, but you nearly beat her and she's not. So that's not bad, really. It's Skills. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased with myself. Yeah. Skills. Had a good go. <laughs> what time is it? It's story time! Fabulous from the book from Bob Hartman, The Ryman Bible. Of course it is. Yes. Because you know, it's good, so we should use it. Yeah. Should. Um, so this one is one story, but it's actually part of four. Oh. So it's like the first part in a bigger story. Get in. And I okay. think quite a few people will have heard of this story. Okay. Um, so this is the story of a guy called Joseph. Joseph. Yes. So should we read it together? Yeah. I think that'd be good. Let's yeah. do that. So it's called Coats and Dreams. Joseph dreamed, his brothers schemed, and when it all was through, God dreamed Joseph's dream with him, and Joseph's dream came true. Joseph was the favourite son of Jacob, his old dad. So Joseph did a lot of things that made his brothers mad. He snitched on them when they did wrong, and that really got their goat. But what they hated most of all was Joseph's lovely coat. Jacob made it many coloured, red and gold all round, while all the other brothers had to wear were coats of brown and brown. Then Joseph started having dreams. I think this is a sign. We all had sheaves of wheat, he said, and yours bowed down to mine. And then 
I dreamed that you were stars and father was the sun and you all joined with mum, the moon, to honour me as one. That really was the final straw. The brothers were fed up. The time had come they all agreed to deal with this proud pup. So when they got him on his own, out in the fields one day, they grabbed him and they made a pact to take his coat away. We'll take his life as well, they cried, and end this dreamer's dreams. We'll say a lion ate him up. It was an evil scheme. And then one brother said as much. Reuben was his name. I will not take my brother's life. I will not take the blame. Let's put him in this pit, he said. Make him stew and pout. He hoped to come back later on and pull his brother out. But just as soon as Reuben left, some traders wandered by. Let's sell the dreamers as a slave, brother Judah cried. Twenty silver coins they got, then they killed a goat and took its blood and spread it on the many coloured coat. They showed it to poor Jacob to prove his son had died. While off to Egypt, Joseph went, a slave all bound and tied. Joseph dreamed, his brothers schemed, and when it all was through, God dreamed Joseph's dream with him, and Joseph's dream came true. Ooh, we'll find out what happens next week to the rest of that story, and then the yes. week after, and the week after that. Amazing. Okay, I've got another Emily versus Tabs oh, challenge okay. for okay. you. I hope it's fairer than the last one. Um, well, <laughs> what's going to happen is you are both each going to get a ball and you're going to okay. see who can bounce it the most in the space of 30 seconds. Okay. Ooh. The person with the most bounces wins. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a ball and then we're going to quickly go outside and you've got to see yeah. how many bounces you can get. So we've got the same amount of time. Same amount of time. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Both okay. got a ball. Both yeah. got a ball, Great. same amount of time. Three, Great. two, one. Off you go. the same like shape still a it's ball. deflated oh uh, you just this is, no just the solid no there. no this is not fair i'm not having this you know no wow just because i won no just because you make him a cup of coffee every morning okay does not it's not going to do anything you you're showing that you're like he's your do you favorite. want a cup of coffee every you morning? don't drink coffee i mean i don't drink coffee <laughs> but you're it's still not fair. Coke and I can't manufacture Right, that okay, okay, right. Just because we're married. Ooh. It's not fair! It's not fair! Why can't it be more fair? How come she gets to stay up later than me? How come they get to get a full McDonald's and I only have to have a happy meal? I'm older as well soon. What? I only got two minutes playing with that toy. They had like, like five hours. How come they've got all those presents? I don't know it's their birthday, but it's not fair. I want presents. Right, they've got all those presents. They've got like 150 million presents. I only got five. Well, then never mind was more expensive. No, it's just, it's not fair. That's not the point. 
Why does he get to kick the ball more than I do? Well, I know he runs to it, but I, I want to go... Oh, we always get to watch her favourite films. Why can't we get to watch one that I choose? It's not fair. I want to sit in the front seat. They always get to sit in the front seat. I, I never, I, I, it's not fair. Why isn't it fair? It's not fair. Sometimes things really don't feel fair, do they? In fact, sometimes when things don't feel fair, we can feel really bad, but it's actually so important to think, even when things aren't fair, how do we respond? What's the best thing that we could do? If you keep watching, I've got some ideas for you. But first, let's talk about that story. In that story that Hetty and Emily read for us, Joseph's brothers definitely felt like they knew what it felt like to be treated unfairly. I mean, Joseph, he was younger than them. He wasn't as... He, what, what, was, what was so special about him that he got to have this special coat that he would wear and that he got treated so well and Jacob, their, their dad, just thought that he was the best because Jacob was kind of old when they had Joseph and he was a bit softer and that. Maybe you're an older sibling and you sometimes maybe you felt like you've been treated unfairly or maybe you're a younger sibling and you you sit around thinking oh I got all the good stuff oh well I mean I'm an older sibling and um, but my my little sister has some had some very different needs to me when we were growing up but I know that Hetty is the youngest of four siblings and all of her siblings are always saying how she's the favorite and how mum was was a bit softer with her when she was born and and how Hetty got everything that she wants and she still does and well, hmm. You see, sometimes things just aren't fair. But like I said, it's what we do about it that is most important. Keep watching, I will tell you what I think we should do. You see, in that story though, all those, all those years ago where it was set, it was actually even stranger for Jacob the dad to have so much favoritism over Joseph. Because actually in those times, the eldest brother was the one that got all the favoritism. The eldest brother was the one that got all the, the inheritance all the money when the family left the money to them. And so for Joseph to be treated so well by his dad and then to have all these dreams where he goes on about all oh, this great stuff's gonna happen to me and all uh, oh, you'll have to bow down to me brothers oh ha 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 and all that just doesn't seem fair at all. It just didn't fit with how things were in those days. And so the brothers got really, really jealous and envious and they acted out in their envy. Was that the best way to respond? The things that they did? Hmm, I don't think so. I mean, they plotted to try and kill the guy and then when they didn't do that, they sold him off um, into, into slavery. I mean, that really wasn't the best way to respond, was it? I don't know whether you've maybe heard the song um, how he loves us and how the first line in that worship song is that God is jealous for us. I remember when I first heard that and I thought oh well that's strange I thought it was bad to be jealous but actually jealousy is something that we we feel something that we feel when things don't seem fair and so for God to feel that jealousy it's like God is being treated unfairly by us because we're not loving him as much as he loves us in the first place. And that song's all about how much God loves us and forgives us. But does God act out of envy towards us? No, he continues to love us. And so when things don't seem fair, how do we respond? Well, here's three things. First one is to pray. First thing you should do, if something doesn't feel fair to you, have a talk with God about it. Ask God, is this something that I really need to be caring lots about? Do I need to do anything, God? Do I need to say anything about this 
issue. Second thing is if the issue causes harm or hurt to anyone then say something about it. Speak up. There's lots of things going on in the world that aren't fair and it's only when we highlight them and say about them that we tend to see change. Lots of years ago, the, the suffragettes were a group of ladies that really, really wanted to challenge how men had this unfair advantage over women in lots of areas of society and still, sadly, in some ways, still do. And so they spoke up because they felt it was really important to do so. And I think so as a man all these years later because our world is so much different now. And the last thing is how we move on from that point with forgiveness in our heart, but treating others fairly ourselves. Next time something happens that you think isn't fair, remember to pray, remember to work out whether it's something that you should speak up about or not. But lastly, remember, let that be a reminder to you that you are a fair person. One, two, three. Pray, speak, but be fair yourself. Well, we hope that you have had an amazing time with us. Yeah. What have you learned today? Um, I've learned that when we think something's not fair, sometimes we're just complaining and we need to just think about that and be like, actually, does it really matter? Nah, not really. But sometimes things aren't fair and actually we do need to do something about it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really important and it's really great that some people have been doing things already yeah. about things that they think is not fair in the world. So that's really cool. Yes, that is awesome. It is great that you have joined us and we will see you very, very soon. Okay, bye. bye.